Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how I built my first RC, an FJ40 from WPL. It's the WPL C34 kit metal. So I started by gluing together some of the parts like the mirrors and windows just because you could easily tell that they would fall apart as soon as we hit the trail. So if I felt them wobbly, I would use glue. And I just used glue that I got from one of the auto supply stores. The hood actually was giving me a bit of trouble to get it in, so I actually had to take off the windshield again in order to get it in because I was afraid I would break the plastic if I was putting too much force, force into it. And it was actually the first of many, 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 many hurdles. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Okay, here comes world number two. It was really hard to fit the door in. Again, I was afraid I would break the plastic and it just wasn't cut perfectly to match the rest of the body of the car. So I had to play with it. See how I have to use a little bit of extra force just to open and close the door? That's just because it doesn't sit perfectly in. And I was watching reviews and other videos and other people had same problems. Some even had a huge gap between the body and the door. So it seems like it's a pretty common mistake. Now, pardon me for missing the build of the rest of the body of the car, but my phone had run out of battery and I did not notice. <laughs> so now you'll see me starting to build the uh, transmission and gearbox, which I won't finish today, but you will see in the next part. I did have to use a lot of my own tools, or should I say my husband's tools. He has a mountain bike suspension shop and I used a lot of his own tools to work on this. Here I've encountered my next big hurdle which pretty much goes on for the rest of the build and is that none of the screws came um, marked so I didn't know which screw was what so it's pretty much a guessing game for the rest of the build and it, I'm not gonna lie it was pretty frustrating here my husband was trying to help me figure out which one fit 
best because I just couldn't find the right screw. And many bags <clears throat> brought a lot of different sizes. So I really just had to guess and hope that I wouldn't need that specific screw for something else later on on the, on the build. Thanks for watching. Next week, I will finish working on the transmission and I'll start building the chassis. So I'll see you next time.